Greetings and salutations. I'm Kevin J. McAdoo, founder of Exit 160 Entertainment. And today we're going to design a logo using Clip Studio Paint. Once again, I'm Kevin J. McAdoo, writer, comic artist for the upcoming graphic novel entitled War Pigs. And today officially is my very first YouTube video and I'm jacked just like this guy. <laughs> With that being said, welcome to the Daily Ground and Making Comics. For today's episode, we're gonna be working from a sketch that I did some time ago. On one side, you got my daughter's basketball schedule. And on the other side, we're gonna be working from this piece of line work right here, all right? So we're gonna build our logo from this right here. We're gonna get this loaded into the computer, so stay tuned. Whether you're using a Mac or PC, let's fire up Clip Studio Paint to start a new project. Once you have Clip Studio Paint loaded, you're gonna to go to File and New. Once you are at the setup screen for the type, there are a few options listed depending on the project that you're doing will determine the option that you select. For this project, I'm going to select illustration. Let's give your logo a name and always remember, <laughs> like Pepsi, that's a brand name. I stand by it, I guarantee it. All right, enough of the Zell monologues. We're gonna call it exit 160 logo. We're not going to worry about the presets. Moving along to the canvas, uh, the dimensions is really your preference, but the resolution is going to be key. Ideally, you want to have a resolution of at least 300 DPI, that's dots per inch, depending on your computer that you're working on. The higher the resolution, the greater chances your computer is going to slow down. So I'm going to roll with 600 DPI and now I'm going to hit OK. So I'm not going to go into heavy detail about Clip Studio Paint's user interface. Maybe I'll save that for a future video, but if you want to see a Clip Studio tutorial, be sure to leave a comment below. All right, so getting back to the logo, there are a number of ways that we can bring the sketch into the program. You can always take the long way by going up to File, Import, Image. But if you suck at file management like I do, there is a much simpler way. I've already have the sketch on my desktop, so I'm going to just simply click and drag the image onto uh, my canvas. So click and drag it on, and boom, we're ready to go. Before I start working on the sketch, there are a few housekeeping things that I need to do. In the layer section, I need to create a background layer and fill the layer with white. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go to the layer section. We are going to create a new raster layer. Okay. We're going to go to our paint bucket tool. We're going to select that. Make sure that the color white is selected and we're just going to simply click on the page. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our background layer and we're going to bring it below the sketch layer. We're going to give the background layer a name. We're going to call it BG and that is not baby gangster. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to select the sketch layer and we're going to give the sketch layer a name as well. We're just going to simply call it sketch and hit enter. So staying on the sketch layer, there are a few things that we need to do. All right, so we need to take a look at the blending mode for the sketch layer. We're gonna change the blending mode from normal to multiply. We're also going to lower the opacity to about 35%, I think is a good one. Once we do that, we're gonna lock the, the, the layer in place. So now that the sketch layer has been locked, we're going to create a new layer, a new raster layer. We're gonna give it a name, we're gonna call it pencil. Hit enter. Now at this point, you can start drawing, but for me, there's still one more thing that I like to do before 
uh, I move on and it's totally optional. So going back to the layer section, there's an option for layer color. I'm going to simply click on the layer color here. Now everything on this layer, on the pencil layer, will be whatever color you like. But for me, I'm going to stick with the color blue. You know, you know I had to get that in there. All right, so if you notice here, the layer color is now blue. If I click on that, I can simply change the color to whatever I like. But once again, I'm going to leave it as blue. Okay, guys, I think we're ready to get this show on the road. Let's select the pencil for my pencil options. Real pencil is already highlighted. We're just going to select it. And I think we're ready to start drawing. I don't know about you guys, but it's hard to draw without some music. So let's get it. Again, I'm using Clip Studio Paint. I think it's one of the best drawing programs out there on the market today, especially if you're drawing comics like I am. And don't worry, I'm not getting paid to brag on Clip Studio, but it is what it is. It's definitely one of the cheapest options out there that gives you the best bang for your buck. It's not a bandwidth haul. It's not gonna rob your computer of all of its memory because remember, it's vector-based, unlike some of the other raster programs out there. But what do you think? What is the best drawing program out there on the market today? I'm curious to see what you all think. So leave a comment in the comment section below. So what I'm about to do now is create another layer, changing the layer color to red. I love that combination going from blues to red. At this point, we're just simply playing clean up with the line work. You can see how changing the color layer can make the image stand out a little bit more, make it pop. 
Again, what we're doing at this point is just cleaning up the line work prior to moving on to inks. Man, that red pencil really makes the image stand out. When you guys and gals are doing your own logo, hope some of the things that you've learned today was helpful. Continue to hone your skills. I've literally taken almost 20 years off from drawing consistently, but it feels good to be back to drawing. All right, I think we are about ready to start inking this bad boy. Stay tuned for part two, where we will apply some ink. I hope everyone enjoyed the video. Until next time, be sure to like, subscribe, and join the Exit 160 movement. Peace.